Hey guys, I wanted to create a quick video on how to show you guys to add data logging and gauges to your videos. As if you go through my channel, you can see my older autocrossing and drag racing videos. And I have a set of gauges in the corner. I'm going to show you how to really quickly add those gauges to your videos. It's not very hard and I have about $50 invested into my whole setup, so I think it's a fair, fairly cheap option for you guys to get all this information on there, and I'll show you how. First thing you're going to need, you're going to need a OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. This is uh, from ELM327. You get these on Amazon or eBay for, uh, for about $8. I've gone through two or three of these. Uh, the first one I had was the big one. It was probably like two inches longer than this one. I had that one for about a year and it crapped out. Then I bought this one, or this type, I, that was the bigger one. This is called the Mini. I bought this one and this one was again like $8 on Amazon. This is actually my second one of these because the first one I had was defective. Since I had bought it on Amazon, I just sent it back to the seller and they sent me this one and it's been working fine ever since. So that's the first thing you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is an application called Torque. With Torque you can see real-time information, set up any kind of custom gauge that you want. As you can see I have a boost gauge here for the truck and the Corvette. The truck has a turbo and the Corvette is supercharged. Now with Torque you can set up a lot of uh, different gauges for whatever you're trying to capture. All you have to do is make sure that the car is set up properly for it. For this, uh, I have all GM cars, so you actually download, the call, they're called PIDs or PIDs, whatever you want to call it. I had to download the GM set and custom set some gauges because the General Motors cars uh, do not like the trans temp gauge setup that Torque uses. So this is called Torque. This is actually Torque Pro. It's available through the Google Play Store and it was five dollars for the professional version and that's what you're going to need for this to use torque you're going to have to find the obd2 port on your car and plug in your adapter so on the truck it is down here on the bottom as you can see you can see the adapter glowing with its uh, different led colors that is to show that it's ready to transmit data now on your torque appl application I have mine set to, as you can see, I already have the Bluetooth enabled on my cell phone. So you're able to connect to the application. And then you'll see in the application, the Torque app itself says, connect to the ECU, OK? So you can go through here and through, view your various gauges, um, revs. So, you know, it's. You see your live gauges. You can also clear engine codes. If you go to fault codes, and mine will show a turbo boost sensor because it's or a pending tur yeah pending boost control position sensor. I already replaced the sensor, and it th this truck is real goofy. I replaced the sensor as a $300 sensor from Garrett and it turns on and turns off on its own so it's real weird so anyway clear faults hit OK and the check engine light turned off so I do I have to do that occasionally so to the torque app is pretty useful it allows you to see your real-time gauges allows you to sh show your your fault codes like I said and it also allows you to, uh, there is a built-in track recorder, but I'll be honest, unless you've got a really good cell phone mount, I don't recommend it. It's not all that great. allows you to view your trips and also allows you to data log. So if you go to your gauges, real-time information, and you hit the setup button, you can hit start logging and you hit start logging and the application itself everything that you've configured the PIDs that I ta was talking about earlier all of those that you have set up it will data log and save it out to a CSV file 
I use this to, this is where your data comes from for your video, um, for, for the gauges that you're going to need. So you do your data log, you know, you do your autocross run, you do your track run. When, you, when you're done, you hit stop logging. So now your logging files are saved to your Android-based cell phone or your tablet, if that's what you use. And you can either email it, either there's an option to email logs, or you can also just download it from your from your cell phone. That's what I do. I just plug my cell phone into my computer via a USB cable, the mini USB cable. Plug it in, and it's in the uh, track logs folder on, on the SD card. If your cell phone has an SD card. My phone, this is a Galaxy S6. It actually doesn't have one. But the S7 that I'll be getting at some point does, and that's where you can save your files. At this point, I have downloaded the CSV file and my GoPro video to my computer. In this raw CSV file, you can see all the different data that you can select and record. For this, I have all the GM PIDs, 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 whatever you want to call it, uh, configured, and that is what I use to record. Now the third part of this that you're going to need is the an application called Race Render is by HP Tuners. It's about a $30, $35 app and this is what allows you to import the video, audio video, as well as the CSV file data into your video to create your gauges. So for this video we're going to do data log simple, data logger simple. You're going to input your video, input your data. So your video will be your video file, your GoPro file. Your data will be the track log file from Torque. You're going to hit OK. And then for this, these are the different gauge styles you can put in. I always use a C6V, C6 Virtual because it's what I own. And close to the gauge cluster of the car, you hit OK. And yeah, this is what your raw audio video and your raw data will look like. Now, you will need to trim and synchronize the configurations because a lot of times, if even if you hit, you turn your GoPro off and you hit stop logging, I have noticed that those two, if you hit the, you know, that it takes a good second. It's off by a good half second to a full second sometimes even three quarters of a second between turning stopping the video during GoPro and stopping the logging on your Torque Pro application on your phone. So it's not 100% in sync. So you can use this to trim the video if you want to. You can also use it to synchronize the track log file and by that you can actually like move the data like this is I was doing drag race runs so you can actually m kind of manipulate the data to where you want it to go Th and this little screen on the left is based on the GPS data so uh, you're staging lane going down the strip slowing down and going back to the return lane so but anyway so you're gonna log up your information al align the two pieces of data you can hit OK and be good to go. You can also configure and add different features on this application. I there's I don't really have a good source, you know, a good a website to recommend like go here for this kind of information. Just g do some Google searches and you'll find some information, but I haven't found a I'll be honest, I haven't taken the time to look into a real good uh, source of information to how to configure and mess around with race render I know there's I've seen people do it I've been in contact with people and they've sent me their torque pro the CSV file just a raw file and I've kind of copied what they have configured but I don't you know I don't have a good source of like of, of a place where to go so you have to do some research on that but other than that you know this application works real well now I have saw a competing product um, that some of the autocrosser guys are getting into. I saw that application and it was over $200. And I'm not even sure that comes with the hardware. 
you may have to buy the hardware separate, but it's basically an application that kind of made this all a little bit easier. But for $200, I think that's a total ripoff because I've got less than $50 in, in this setup. So to review what you're going to need, you're going to need the first thing you're going to need is the Bluetooth OBD2 adapter. The second thing you're going to need is the Torque Pro application. That's $5 in the Play Store. The OBD2 adapter is $8 or so. And the third thing you're going to need is Race Render. And this application is about $30. And that's all you really need to add gauges to your GoPro videos. And also another thing, I don't know, I think I've said it, but the, the Torque application is also pretty, pretty robust. Like you can data log, you can do like highway efficiency stuff, go green and all that kind of stuff. You can track your mileage on it, clear OBD2 co uh, fault codes. Uh, I used mine to data log the Corvette because I didn't know how much PSI it was making. You know, I found I was, I was making about eight and a half to nine pounds of boost with the Edelbrock supercharger. So it, it's a pretty robust tool for um, for just $13 if, you, if that's all you want to use it for. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Please subscribe and thank you.